The toilet's been around for ages. Ancient cultures as far and wide as China and Rome had flushable toilets. They mostly used underwater streams or rainwater to flush them out. The first toilet was invented during the 1500s by Sir John Harrington, poet and plumbing enthusiast. Now, Sir John's godmother happened to be none other than Queen Elizabeth I of England. And it was for her he designed this, the Ajax. Great, right? Wrong. Only two Ajax toilets were ever made. And for some reason, it took over 200 more years for the whole toilet thing to catch on. But when it finally did, toilets, called water closets, started popping up fast in cities all over Europe. It seemed that the solution to all our stinky problems had arrived. Well, unfortunately for the city of London, water closets actually made matters even worse. In fact, they caused what may have been the stinkiest smell in all of history. The granddaddy of all stinks. A stink so bad, it brought the city to its knees. What's that smell? Oh no, don't look now, here it comes. It's the great stink of 1858! Oh. <laughs> it's no use, Sam! It's no use! Hold your breath. This is not gonna be pretty. He, you! Malodorous Pictures presents a thrilling new feature coming soon to a theater near you. In Stinkovision! The Great Stink! Don't miss the absolutely true story of the awful stench which rose from the sewage swollen River Thames in the summer of 1858 and brought London to its knees. A smell so foul, so hideous, that it can only be brought to you in Stinkovision! Thrills, chills, smells. Ooh, the great stink in Stinkovision. Coming soon to a theater near you. Pretty that's for smelly. Hold it. Great stink of 1858. Yeah, right. No, Shakira, it's totally true. The great stink of 1858 really did happen. Sam. 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 Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, Jeff, what happened? Ew, what's that awful smell? Right in the middle of the Great Stink of 1858. I'll say, it's the River Thames. It stinks something crazy. Well, by the 1800s, there were so many water closet toilets that the city of London's old drains and cesspools couldn't handle all the sewage. It ran into the sewers. But the sewers flowed into the Thames. Exactly. But that would turn the Thames into one gigantic, colossal cesspool. Ugh. <laughs> And that's exactly what it did. The River Thames, which runs right through London, was filled to the brim with sewage. And in the summer of 1858, a super heat wave heated it up, creating an unimaginable stench. The smell was so bad, people traveled far out of their way to avoid crossing any of London's bridges. And no one wanted to travel anywhere on the Thames by boat. So, what did they do? Well, in the short term, there wasn't much they could do but tough it out. But in the long run, the Great Stink did force London to overhaul its sewer and sanitation systems, making it a much cleaner place to live. So I guess it wasn't all bad once they worked everything out. But for now, how's that feel? Great, thanks. 